Hello everyone. So today in this class, okay, I'm going to talk about integrated delivery project, hmm, the IDP. Okay. So before we started this class, okay, before I start this class, I would like to just remind you the class which we used on the conventional approach where your owner met whom? The civil engineer, isn't it? After that, he met the architect. Architect calls his MEP engineer, isn't it? And this MEP engineer calls the contractor who does the work. Hmm? Okay, for whom he does the work? For the user or end user. Hmm? This guy does the work for the end user to live in. End user. Hope this much is clear in the last class. Okay. In this class, okay, you just look at this, okay. So there is one only one directional communication, isn't it? The end user uh, talks to the contractor, the contractors to the MEP, and then the MEP to the architect, and then civil, and then the owner, isn't it? Hmm? But in the IDP, the integrated delivery project, okay, the owner, okay calls everybody, the civil engineer and then the architect, MEP guy, hmm? contractor, everybody during the initial stage. So there is a meeting at the first place itself. This is the meaning of integrated change control. Why do they do this? Because, hmm? why do they do this? So this will actually reduce time, confusions, this is the main aim of this approach, okay? That is the meaning of integrated delivery project. That means what? Instead of having it, let me just give you another story here, okay? Very good story here. This is your project, okay? So we know a project is made up of phases. Why do we divide project into phases? So we have more control, isn't it? Isn't it? So let's just consider this story here, okay? Same story. Let's consider the project is have the total scope S T, right? which is equal to S1 plus 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 S N. Hmm? Okay? So far good? Okay. Instead of uh, this will be completed in time T N cost C N. Okay? This is uh, C1 and uh, time T1. Okay? So what I'm trying to tell you is, instead of having this whole project, okay, this whole project, I'm talking about this guy, okay, this project, hmm, delivered at time T1 plus, okay, Tn, means at last Tn, we're going to deliver all the scope, S1, S2, S3, whatever, Sn, instead of having this error or this mistake, what we do is we divide the project. We call this division called segmentation. Hmm? So this is the concept of integrated delivery schedule. What's the concept? What? Segmentation. So what? Before the project ever starts, all of these people, all these players, they're called players, isn't it? Hmm? Have a meeting. So each person has his point of view. So there's nothing missing, you know. So, for example, if contractor wanted something, he has to call to the MEP. MEP has to call to the, he has to consult with the civil architect. You know, that's the story. This is like, you know, one linear fashion man, manner. But here in the IDP method, the integrated delivery project method, where the owner, hmm, he talks with or he has a meeting with everybody, the civil. So, there everybody can put his point of view. Point of view. Okay. I hope this uh, small video of uh, the integrated delivery project and its difference between the conventional approach is clear and I think I can just tell you uh, bye.